Hey everyone, I'm Kyle, the CEO at the Earth and Spirit Center. I'm joined today once again by Dr. Tony Zippel. Hi, Tony. Hey, Kyle. Great to be here. You too. Uh, good to see you. Um, you are going to be, you know, back by popular demand. You're going to be teaching another course with the Earth and Spirit Center um, in the in the winter slash spring semester called Mindfully Managing Worry, a six week course. Now you have really kind of taken the earth and spirit community by storm uh, in the best way in the, in the sense that you uh, have a background in positive psychology and happiness, and you have been both teaching courses and leading monthly groups related to happiness. How, uh, can you say a little bit about your own background and how, um, how happiness came sort of front and center on your radar? Yeah, well, you know, as you say, I am a psychologist and much of my background had to do with working with people who have really severe mental illnesses that we really don't know how to cure. <clears throat> and the question always was, can we help people have good lives in spite of the fact that they have these tremendous underlying challenges like schizophrenia? And I think that, that a lot of what I learned doing that kind of work applies here as well. All of us face underlying challenges. We all get bumped around, you know, tough things happen to all of us. And the question is, can we have happy, effective, productive, good lives in spite of the fact that there are bad things going on that we may not be able to change? And so it's a really nice frame for me. And that's what I try to do with all these classes to recognize that there are bad things that happen to all of us and that happiness is a choice and a habit and there are things we can do that promote it. I so appreciate your take on that, Tony, because I, I think there's um, it's just a realism about that that's so refreshing and, and doesn't paper over the very real struggles that we all have, whether we have severe mental illness or not. Uh, we all you know, have our stuff and it's easy to, to paper over that with toxic positivity. And that is, that is not my experience of how you work with happiness. Um, no, no, I mean, there, it's possible to have bad things that happen and to focus on the good things that exist in your life as well, because all of us at almost any given moment, no matter what the tough things are that we're facing, there are also really positive things going on as well. And we can stop and make a choice about where we focus all of our attention. We need to deal with the bad stuff, but we can also turn to the good stuff as well. Yeah, you know, what I especially appreciate is how practical your approach is. I know that you come from a background, certainly in, you've had an, an academic background, you've run large mental health care uh, companies and organizations, but you, but, and you are uh, ultimately a very practice and praxis based person. So what can folks expect in classes like this? A bunch of lectures about happiness. Um, I, I imagine not so much, uh, What? because I think you want to put tools in people's hands, right? Well, I, I, you know, I like to do a combination of things. You know, I've, I've spent enough time in the university that, that, that I can't not give a lecture. And, Fair enough. <laughs> and, and, you know, so like PowerPoint, and there's content that gets presented in this. And I think that's important, you know, having a, a framework for thinking about this, I think is really helpful. But there's also practice involved. And so for any content that I teach, I always make sure that I include practices and both a chance to try it a little bit, get a little taste of it in the context of the training session, as well as homework. You know, how can you go back home and do some of this? Because it's that combination of learning content and frame uh, uh, along with actual practice that I think helps us to move. Yeah. Well, I have ridden shotgun with you enough times to know that you are always eminently prepared and quite accessible. And so I know folks are really uh, in for a treat and some very, very practical helps to le leading a better life. And I, um, I think some people might be asking what the connection is between happiness and the, the mindfulness practices that we're known for teaching. Do you want to say a word about that? Sure. You know, I, I think mindfulness is really important and, and almost everything that I talk about uh, 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 is based at its core around our ability to just stop for a moment and be present. You know, it's a little different in the sense that, that I'm not teaching, you know, let, let's sit and practice formal mindfulness or meditation for 15 minutes or a half hour at a time. <clears throat> 
but just the act of let me stop and take a breath and just pay attention to what I'm thinking and feeling, what's going on with me right now, and make a choice about what I want to do next. You can do that in 30 to 60 seconds in a really powerful way. That's a way to get centered and more mindful that sets you up to do a range of other things. And, and that's really core to all the things I talk about, even though it's not formal mindfulness or meditation. Well, I appreciate that. And I hope that the, the choice that folks watching this will make next is to go to our website to learn more about your class and to, and to register. Uh, you can do that at earthandspiritcenter.org. We'll put a link uh, along with this video. It's a six week course that runs on Monday evening, seven to 8.30, starting on January 15th. So it's a great way to deal with the winter doldrums and, um, or whatever the, the winter darkness struggles are called. But uh, Tony, we're just so grateful to have you on board as a faculty member with the Earth and Spirit Center. You offer so much and, and these courses have been so well attended and, and much appreciated. And we're looking forward to doing it again in a new version in the in the winter slash spring and and i guess a quick note just for you to confirm that folks who have done courses with you before there will be new practices to learn uh in, in this as well right yeah there'll be new material there'll be some overlap uh, mm -hmm. uh, as well you know and some of the other things i've taught i've talked about things like self-compassion and and self-compassion is a really good strategy for dealing with worry and rumination uh, but we'll talk about it in a slightly different context, maybe a new spin on it. So there'll be some overlap and some new material as well. Okay. Well, we are looking forward to it. And uh, thank you so much, Tony. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Kyle. Looking forward to it.